Western analyst and former military officer Andrew Tanner is convinced that Sirsky is preparing a trap for the Russians in the Pokrovsk direction. This, in his opinion, is evidenced by the striking similarity between the beginning of the battle for Pokrovsk and the Cold War exercises that American troops conducted in Germany. In turn, the deputy director of the Ukrainian Center for Army, Conversion and Disarmament Studies, Mikhail Samus, believes that Russians could indeed fall into a trap but on the condition that they are unable to expand the southern flank of the Pokrovsky direction. The military expert stated this in an interview with Evgenia Kutnova for the YouTube channel Fabrika Novosti. At the moment, for the Russians, this is no longer the Pokrovsk direction, but the Pokrovsk corridor dangerously hanging from the flanks, noted Samus, that is, they need to secure the flanks, which is what they are currently doing in the area of Selidovo, Kurakovo and Ugledar. I believe that the Kursk operation is not the least in a series of asymmetric operations, the military analyst said. If it is not the last, then the Russians who lack reserves will find themselves in a very dangerous situation. They will not be able to respond adequately when each new strike is in a completely unexpected place. Ukraine is doing everything possible to prevent the loss of Pokrovsk. The Kursk operation has effectively deprived Russia of the ability to maneuver its forces, according to Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky. The main target of the Russian army in Donbass today is Kurakovo, not Pokrovsk, said a serviceman of the Armed Forces of Ukraine with the call sign Son of Manaheim. According to the Ukrainian military, the Russian armed forces are attempting to occupy Kurakovo in order to then force the entire Ugledar group of the Ukrainian defense forces to retreat along with the remnants of the Krasno-Horivka group. Today, the most active section of the front is the Pokrovsk direction, but the main direction of the enemy's attack is Karlovka Kurakovo. Despite everyone's cries about Pokrovsk, the enemy seeks to capture Kurakovo which in the future will force the entire Ugledar SOU group to retreat together with the remnants of the Krasno-Gorovka group. At the same time, an additional direction of attack is Pavlovka Ugledar, with the aim not so much of capturing the latter as of preventing the self-propelled gun from maneuvering into the resulting pocket, writes a soldier quoted by Strana on his Telegram channel. He notes that the capture of Kurakovo will eliminate all risks of a possible counter-attack by the SOU in the direction of Konstantinovka and Ocheretino, which in the current situation would lead to a significant deterioration of enemy logistics in the Pokrovsky salient. A former classmate of the Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Federation, Valery Gerasimov, was found murdered in his home. The body, wrapped in a carpet, was discovered by the police who were called by the wife of the murdered man who could not get into his home. This was reported by the publication Business Online. The publication says that retired Russian Armed Forces Colonel Valery Kakin, who at one time held the position of deputy head of the Kazan Tank School, was killed. Death occurred as a result of multiple stab wounds. The murder victim was found by police officers who responded to a call from Maria Gorchunova, the owner of the apartment and wife of Valery Kakin. A criminal case was opened on the fact of the murder. There is no information yet on how the investigation is progressing. There is no information about what happened in open sources. It is only known that the murdered man celebrated Tanker's Day, the day before, at the school where he had previously worked and where graduates traditionally gathered on that day. After the event, he went home, where he stayed alone for the night since his wife was at the dacha at that time from where she returned on the day of the crime. According to media reports, the Kremlin has turned its attention to Gerasimov's people. On May the 23rd, it became known that Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin was detained in the Russian Federation. He is involved in a bribery case. Law enforcement agencies say that Shamarin's home was also searched. It is known that Shamarin's case is being heard by the 235th Military Court. Back in 2020, Deputy Chief of the Russian General Staff Aslanov was arrested in a bribery case. In 2024, two of Shoigu's deputies, Ivanov and Kuznetsov, were already detained. It is possible that the Kremlin will not stop there. Experts stated that Belusov could leave only two or three people from Shoigu's former circle in the Russian Defense Ministry.